Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Grumpy Old Gamers podcast, You Can't Teach an Old Gamer New Tricks. This is episode number 12. I'm Ryan, and as always with me is Rob. Hello, fam- fellow gamer. How are <laughs> you doing? Hello, fellow gamer. I feel like I'm really close to my camera today. You are. I'm also, I'm also way back here. Yeah. That's there right. you go. Is that less intimidating? <laughs> less Hi. intimidating. So, uh, how was your week? Oh, doing all right. Doing all right. It was a busy week. How about you? Good, good. I literally just came in from uh, hanging Christmas lights. That's why I'm a little rosier than usual. I, uh, but it was a gorgeous day out. I mean, I was out just in a t-shirt. I'm surprised you wore that much. <laughs> Normally, you're just uh, out there well, all buttered up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the uh, the cops got called last time. Last Fair year enough. when I was just... Uh, hanging up the Christmas lights and the G-string, so. And that's when everyone stopped listening. Yeah. And, and cut. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, you know, we were dragging this thing down. Let's, uh, let's just get right into news. How about that? Sounds good. What's new in the news? New in the news. Well, ba-ba-ba. Uh, 2K, the, uh, the wonderful... Uh, <laughs> studio that we just love to hate uh their social media got hacked on friday and uh did you happen to catch any of the uh i did catch some of them yeah, yeah I was, not uh, really safe for human or uh public consumption yeah but. i'm uh i'm not going to repeat any but they uh they're posting some pretty horrible stuff <laughs> some pretty horrible stuff and uh yeah um <laughs> Uh, I saw a lot of uh, emails go or messages going around later. Uh, this is why you have two-factor authentication on a, yes. uh, yep. a major company's social media. Because it was 2K and it was Gearbox too, right? Like Borderlands got yeah, their official yeah. account. Mm. Oh, it's funny. Well, good on them. It was yeah. very entertaining. You know, you're scrolling through uh, Facebook there and you just like, you're like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> stuff's happening that's someone's uh private genitalia <laughs> all right all right what else we got to talk about here um how about we talk about stadia rob it's my favorite subject let's talk about some stadia um basically they announced everything that they're not going to have at launch you want to uh <laughs> Oh, is that just like, uh, that's the cold open? Just go? Uh, just go. Just Yeah, all right. What's not available? Lunch. Lunch. The uh, the Buddy Pass. The Buddy Which Pass is not... th- Three months available uh, so someone else can try it with you. Mm-hmm. Not going to work. Not going to. Um, it'll be sent to you later. Yep. Uh, 4K streaming Do you, on anything other than the Chromecast they send you. Not going to work. And by streaming, I mean gameplay. 4K gameplay is not going to work unless you use the Chromecast, Mm -hmm. which you will not get for the very best within a week of the launch. Uh, Mine's supposed to come on the 25th, I think, where it launches on the 19th. Um, And if you have another Chromecast and you're like, oh, well, I'll just use my Chromecast, not going to work because they're loading a custom firmware on these Chromecasts that they will not launch until a couple weeks after there the stadia's launch as well mm-hmm. um if you have a computer with a, a super duper setup and you're like oh well i'll play it on my computer i'll just open up a chrome window and do 4k that's not going to work either because an in browser is only going to support 1080p for the first little bit oh uh, what else the, you know my favorite one is what's your favorite one uh, the controller yeah the controller will only work with the chromecast yeah even though it's a bluetooth controller mm-hmm yeah, uh-huh. What else? They got a list of games that would have been really cool about a year ago. Yeah. Um, nothing really. There's going to be one, uh, one exclusive, and that's a game called Guilt. I think it is, which yeah. looks okay, but uh, definitely nothing too special. Uh, it's yeah. I, is... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say if I wasn't looking forward to a Chromecast because I don't have a Chromecast yet. I would not be excited about this anymore. I would have canceled, probably canceled the uh, subscription, but 
I'm I'm a sucker for a dumpster fire, and I'm really looking forward to trying seeing just how bad this is compared to uh, especially what Xbox is casually just throwing out that's ten times better. But I uh, I I did cancel mine. I did. Um, too close to Christmas to take a chance on something mm-hmm. I got. <laughs> uh i'll hop in later yeah yeah i was excited to be in the founders and and everything but i yeah i i think you made the right choice i don't think there's anything here that's going to blow anyone away i really hope it's good yeah i mean i expect google if anyone can make a can make it work after the fact but they are just killing themselves with mistake after mistake after mistake and they're the ones who set the due date they yeah. could have pushed this back um, if they weren't going to be ready. And there's what they promised and what's going to be here at launch. It's just, it's not the same. Well, also the whole, I think everyone's a little, well, I, I've, I've read some things where people are not happy that it's not the, the Netflix of gaming that was kind of alluded to in the beginning. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, there's still there's still a chance like it's great you and i both have older computers Mm -hmm. that 4k gaming natively is basically out of the question yeah but it would be cool that for the cost of a 4k monitor if we could all of a sudden play these games at 4k that would have been fantastic absolutely i mean there there is an audience out there they just need to make this work and they are just tripping all over themselves is this a is this a good time to segue into uh, microsoft yeah, their, uh, yeah. So Microsoft's um, competitor to this is going to be Project X Cloud. Um, it's still in beta, and you have to be invited to try it. And up until, um, yeah, like uh, last month, I guess, or this month, um, there's only five games available in it. And uh, then they announced that they're adding 50 games and this was during that x19 right the xbox yeah. uh, conference they just had yeah and uh <laughs> there's a lot more exciting stuff in this i mean you know it's 50 which is definitely a lot more to choose from but you know there's a lot more things in here that uh it's a little more exciting i mean just looking at the list right off the top like i mean there are new games in here there's uh the entire gears series Mm-hmm. Um, a little game called Madden NFL 20, which a lot of the kids are playing. Yeah. I mean, they've got new games. They've got uh, some casual games. They've, and this is, they could throw another 10 more in here in a heartbeat. Like, it's basically they've got the, the backbone and support to say anything that's on Game Pass, they could probably just throw right on top of this uh, and say, oh, now it's, you want 50 more games? Bam, done. Yeah. Microsoft, they're, they're kind of built for this. They feel like they've been, they always feel technology like they're about five years ahead. Yeah. To the point where they're, they're too far ahead. But now it's getting to the point where streaming gaming is looking to be more and more of a thing. And Microsoft's ready. Like Microsoft has with Game Pass and the, um, and the PC Game Pass and the... Uh, little, yeah. I guess the Game Pass the, Ultimate, the whole, the whole Ultimate setup. Ultimate Game Pass, yeah. And they're ready for the streaming. Like, I, I have kind of a feeling that we're going to see a sway in the next year where PlayStation's been owning their lunch, and even Nintendo. Mm-hmm. But I, it kind of looks like they've got everything set up for them to kind of come around and come back. And kind of really, Xbox 360, the whole thing again. But, but even um, while we're talking about them at their XO19 there, um. You know, they announced some pretty good stuff, some interesting yep. stuff, right? Um, did you watch any of the of the footage of uh, Grounded, Obsidian's new game they're working on? No, I didn't, but it sounds very interesting. Yeah, where you're basically shrunk down and like trying to make it through a backyard, and you're shrunk down to the size of an insect. Yeah, it it looked it looked really good. Yeah, and it's it's really different from what Obsidian normally does, which kind of says to me that. Um, Microsoft's kind of giving them some free reign to do something they they want to try. And they're, they're, they're the developer of uh, 
uh, Jedi Fallen Order, right? That came out this week, aren't they? Uh, Obsidian, didn't they do um, Gears of, or no, sorry, Outer Worlds? Is that Obsidian? Maybe that's Obsidian, yeah. I get those two mixed up. You just draft them here. <laughs> I'm going to quietly type. Um, something that looked amazing. Um, Rare announced that they're working on a new RPG called um, Everwild. And yes. the trailer for that, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Obsidian did Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds? Okay. Yeah, you okay. Bet. Yeah, they, uh, oh man. Whew. That, uh, that trailer. Um, what else did they announce here? Big update coming to Sea of Thebes. Yep, they're doing uh, Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah. Which is, I never thought I'd see that on a Microsoft product, but. No, no. Pretty impressive. Uh, it is, and like, you know, unless unless like you know, like PlayStation owns the company or Xbox owns the company, it it it's almost not worth it for a company that publish publishes games to both to do exclusives anymore. Um, because uh, Kingdom Hearts three is Square Enix, and they're not they're not an exclusive uh, PlayStation. No, absolutely right. But they've kept they've kept their games exclusive, mm-hmm. the the Kingdom Hearts, anyways. So uh, I think that's all in there that I wanted to mention. Windows Ten, um, Microsoft's going to support the DualShock Four controller. I thought that was very comical. Oh yeah, I I mean, cool. Why not support all of them? But uh, I mean. Not a Microsoft fanboy, but I would take the uh, I would take some of their controllers over the DualShock Four um, any day. Yeah, come come at me, people. I I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, the DualShock controller. What have they added in ten years? They've got a little touch <laughs> in the middle. Um, yeah, it's it's a PlayStation Two controller with um, rumble, a better rumble. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I mean, I do have to admit, I since they added that touchpad i do like the the width of that newer controller better than the three sure okay but the touchpad is useless like it have is. You, i have you ever tried they a lot of the earlier games you see them encourage kind of encouraging you to yep. use it to enter your your name and stuff and i'm like mm, this is dumb <laughs> i think in um astro astrobots uh you have to use it to aim that little grappling hook and that's really yeah. the only time I've ever used it. So, uh, oh yeah, like as a in an actual game, like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't need to be there. I mean, it uh, in most games it turns out to be a big map button, mm-hmm. right? Like it's, yeah. Uh, all right. You good? You good for um, Xbox stuff? Yeah, you bet. They're they're killing Stadia before it even launches. Mm-hmm. They're not even really trying. Uh, oh, Bioware, um, rumored to be working on a new Mass Effect, whether it's a numbered sequel or a reboot or what well, we uh, they didn't really say. Uh, also, they mentioned that they're, Bioware is also working on a, a revamp of Anthem. They're going to gonna try doing a 2.0 launch, see if they can yeah. bring, the, bring it back from, from the dumpster fire. I really hope so. They're, uh, for those who don't know, Bioware is actually their main office and where they started is here in Edmonton in uh, Alberta. Yep. And we've got a special soft spot for them because they're a little company that kind of made big, released some games that, uh, yeah, a little, little game called Baldur's Gate, you know, uh, Dragon Age. Yeah. A whole bunch of, uh, they did Never Winter Nights too, right? Was that They did. Too? Yep. Yeah. They've had a list of very great games and ever since ea took over it has been janky so i, I really hope they come around i re- it's a really good group of people there and well even uh um star wars the uh, the old Re- no right yeah. um yeah is it next to the old republic i think it is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah just a list of really good games and then ea comes in and destroys everything they touch <laughs> it's true, right? Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, Bioshock Four. Bioshock Four, uh, rumored to be working on. 
I have yet to try Bioshock 1 through 3. So, oh. yeah, I, I've watched some videos and seen some stuff, and it looks mm-hmm. good. Um, it's on the list. I really liked uh, Bioshock Infinite. Oh, yeah? That was okay. a game I played an awful lot of, which was kind of the um, less respected of the three, I guess. Right. It was a less horror-based, right? Yes, it very much wasn't uh, anywhere near as horror-filled as the first. I played the original Bioshock, and I made it like 10 minutes in, and then I was like, nope. <laughs> just a little too scary. But, uh, Fetal position, just, yep, no, just weeping I openly. I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rockstar has acknowledged their PC issues and they are actively working on them. This is a follow up from last week's rant. But if you log in on PC before the end of the year, yes. you're going to get a poncho. Neat. Yeah. A poncho <laughs> and a loot, some sort of loot box, in game loot box full of loot. I mean, I guess, like, yeah, I don't know. They're not going to refund people's money or anything if they're going to actively work on it. But at least they acknowledge and they're giving you a little something instead of just laughing on their giant piles of money. Uh, I mean, it's. I'd be a lot more sympathetic if this was a game that hadn't already been out for, what, two years? Yeah. And they're launching it on their brand new flagship launcher because what the world needs is a lot more PC launchers. Mm-hmm. It's like we need more streaming services. Uh-huh. Like, uh. <laughs> mm. here's one here that uh, I know you uh, you liked. I'm gonna throw a table across this damn room. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard announces is. Blizzard yeah. announces microtransactions yeah. for cosmetic items in Di- Diablo Four because they hadn't learned anything. Anything. Uh-huh. Why? 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 They have all the money. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, I know why. I, I I do get it. I, I'm not an idiot. Like I, I know exactly why they're doing it because they want more money, mm-hmm. and there's a market for it, and people will do it. But it's the game literally drops every time you kill an enemy. It's like a fountain of loot. You don't need to buy cosmetic items. You like wait. 10 seconds, kill four guys, and like epic stuff's falling over the place. Like, So, um, in Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm, yes. um, you know, you, you win, you play, you get loot boxes. Yeah. You get the cosmetic stuff. Sure do. And uh, Heroes of the Storm, free-to-play game. Mm-hmm. And they still made... Um, it was a crazy amount of money. Eighteen when it was like, trillion dollars. Yeah. yeah, and it's all off of off of those microtransactions. People, I mean, you know, you see something cool, you just want to buy more chances at it. When yeah. I was heavily when I was heavily playing, I did I did uh, one time because I really wanted this one outfit for one of my mains, and I bought like ten loot boxes and ended up getting it. And yeah, but. Uh, I get it. I I know yeah. why they're doing it. I know there's a market for it. it. Just needs to stop. You know, I mean, there are games out there still trying. Like the Outer Worlds doesn't have transactions. The um, yeah. The uh, even Borderlands, brand new uh, Gearbox game, Borderlands Three. You you get everything you need in the story. You can right. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, I mean, at least they're announcing it now and they're not going to release the review copies and then drop it on us a month afterwards when all the reviews are in, right? At least they're saying it now. Yep. But, but yeah, basically the tone of that article was like, what you going to do about it? <laughs> yeah. That's what's so frustrating. Like, they will make all the money. And I mean, I remember Diablo 3 had the auction house with real money as well and they took yeah, that out after the outcry, right? So maybe this will be the same sort of thing. Or maybe uh, leading into your next point here, uh, there'll be a renaissance in an older system. Mm-hmm. So an article surfaced this week that there was nearly a Diablo on the Game Boy Advance. Can you imagine how that would have played? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, uh, it could have been a big time seller or from the article, they were putting a lot of love into it. And just, you know, in typical Blizzard fashion, they, uh, 
it just wasn't quite reaching their their potential and they just pulled the plug on it that would have been something it really That's, would have been because it would have been equivalent to the game boy advance i always thought is kind of like a super nintendo for hardware levels mm. so just imagine playing diablo on super nintendo how that would have played yeah yeah it, oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, it would have been. <sighs> yeah, it would have been the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, lastly, uh, they released the new trailer for uh, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Yeah, looks with the pretty... fixed up with the fixed up gra- graphics. Looks pretty good. <laughs> I got to admire the people who. Uh... I can only imagine the crunch that went on trying to trying to get that out. But yeah, he looks fantastic. The whole trailer, it seems like they really put a lot of thought into what people want in a Sonic movie. Oh, really? Because they ch- changed the whole tone of the trailer as well. It did. It really did. Like even down to taking out, they had that um, Coolio's uh, Gangster's Paradise in the first one. They, they swapped it now uh, for Blitzkrieg Bob. Right. Which yeah. s- just seems a lot more video gamey, right? And even like the going around the baseball diamond and the. Uh... It just seems like a lot more fun. Yeah, it does. It seems like, uh, I mean, Jim Carrey's still Jim carrying it up. He's still way over the top. It's still. Um, it is very interesting that the first movie he's done in like 15 years or so yeah. is, is Sonic the Hedgehog, but. Uh... <laughs> You know, for all the effort they put in, I'm definitely going to see this in the theater now. Just to kind of reward the fact that they were like, you know what? We goofed up. Yeah. Here's a new trailer. We gave you a scary Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to... Uh, we're gonna <laughs> yep. Here's, a, here's yep. something a little, a little more cartoony. Looked great. It looks great. My, uh, my compliments to the whole team that must have spent forever doing that. So, Absolutely. It's good. It's good. Um, all right. I think that's all we got for news, right? I think so. All right. So, uh, what you've been playing this week, Rob? Well, um, speaking of launchers and the thousands and thousands of PC launchers out here, um, Epic, who's, uh, going to give away every game they have in their store at one point or another until you never have to buy one, <laughs> um, launched, uh, the messenger for mm. free this week. Okay. Which is like an eight bit, um, and then it transitions to a 16-bit type uh, scroller later. It's like this really nice hack and slash uh, pixel arty. Um, your guy looks like a guy from Ninja Gaiden. Uh, it's very tough, <laughs> like uh, very very unforgiving. But you've it's got a very neat way of handling when you die, um, and you got upgrades and everything. And it's a really great game. Like I know it was already nominated, I think for game of the year last year as a kind oh. of like the underground. I don't think it got any votes or anything, but it's a fantastic game and for free. Absolutely. Check it out. Okay. I did download it. I, uh, I didn't uh, install it, but I'll check it out on your recommendation. Do it. <laughs> Do it. So I, uh, I reactivated my Game Pass this week because you can have Ultimate for three months for a dollar. Yeah, except it only showed a month for a dollar on mine. Yeah, right same. after the flash screen. Yeah, and it never gave you a chance to buy three months or anything. No, so. and then I, I went into the um, through the PC. Oh, okay. And you can look at and buy Game Pass there, and there it had a three month option, but I'd already got the one month on the Xbox. So oh. I think uh, maybe that was the way to go. But uh, still, a month, a month for a dollar. Yep. I um, I would. I've been hearing so much about Outer Worlds that uh, I want to try it. Um, I did install it and I uh, had a chance to play a couple hours last night, mm-hmm. and uh, I like it. It's um, it's weird playing this type of game in third person. Okay. Or sorry, fir- uh, first person. Which um, I don't know, like. I've been playing so many games lately that are in third Mm -hmm. that uh, it's just a weird perspective to have. It's going to take a little getting used to. But I, uh, so far I like, um, I mean, I put two hours in yesterday and like probably spent 
45 minutes of that setting my character up because <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of options a lot of options i i don't know how much it's going to actually affect how you play but mm-hmm. i mean that could definitely add some replay value down the line great great oh you're in great things but i mean this is this is the part now like i really wanted to try out a world but i didn't want to drop the full price on it mm-hmm. so do i um you know how long is it going to be on game pass and we we're talking about this so because i've downloaded it on game pass mm-hmm. does i mean that as long as I keep it on my Xbox, I can play it as long as I'm subscribed to Game Pass. I believe or, so. Or does it, when it goes off Game Pass, is it gone like I'm able to play? I, I believe it's like PlayStation Plus. Okay. Because um, it'd be a lot of people really grumpy if all of a sudden you just couldn't play it and you're right. only half the way through or something, right? So. Yeah. Um, there's a. I also installed. <laughs> <laughs> I installed four other games that I've been wanting to try as well. Um, sure. Outer Wilds, not Outer Worlds, but Outer right, yeah. Wilds. Yeah. Um, I installed. I installed After Party, which is from the studio that brought it, brought you Oxen Free. Nice. This game looks like a riot. Mm-hmm. Like the trailers I've watched and um, the reviews I've been reading, it just it looks like it's just a hilarious like <laughs> type game. Um, I downloaded Rage Two. Because I actually, I actually uh, put a lot of time into Rage 1. And uh, World War Z, I downloaded too. Right, right. I've, uh, like I've had my, I've hovered over the buy mm-hmm. on that so many times, but I just no, haven't pulled the trigger. So I'm actually going to get to try it now. Right. I've heard uh, World War Z kind of referred to as a discount left for dead. But yeah. uh, you have to let me know how it is. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. There's no... From what I've read as well, I don't believe there's any single player in mm-hmm. in the game at all. And so you always have to play online with people. Do they have bots like they did on uh, Left 4 Dead? Or like, could you use three bots? I'm not sure. And you can teabag your teammates. So... <laughs> <laughs> Wait until you took a ship for that one. <laughs> well, I'm never playing it again. No, yeah. That's... <laughs> Fantastic. Have you been playing anything else or is that your... That's about it. Uh, a lot of Coleco, but oh, people yeah, are right. tired of hearing about Coleco. It's... Just like I'm not mentioning that I'm still playing No Man's Sky. Oh, I mentioned yep. it. There we go. <laughs> um, the weekly poll this week on the Grumpy Old Gamers Forum. I uh, I was surprised by the winner. I'm not going to lie to you, Ralph. I yep. was surprised by the winner. Is PlayStation Portable? It was. Yay! No, it wasn't. No. Uh, in number three, we had PS4. That's or, weird. Before I, I guess before oh, we oh. start going through this, um, oh. I just, the poll question was, what gaming systems are you playing this game? Choose all that apply. Because, I mean, most people these days um, play more than one thing. Right. At a time. I mean, in a a given week, I can play games on, like, four different devices. Right, right, right. (laughs) If you'd had this a couple weeks later, we could add Stadia, and it would have been me. Exactly. Yeah, would have been me. (laughs) Playing Destiny uh, 2 by myself. But sorry, carry on with the <laughs> poll here. What did the people um, say? Well, I'm going to go top five. How about that? Sounds good. In fifth place, we had PC with uh, with five votes. PC Master Race. What? Uh, what? Um, what? Do kids oh. still say that? What? <laughs> um, in fourth place, oh, actually... Uh, fourth and third are tied. So does that mean we just skip from five to three? Just just read the answers, Boomer. Okay. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, uh, we have Nintendo Switch. Okay. With, uh, with nine votes. And then PS4 with nine votes. Uh, number two is Xbox One. I have a feeling this is not representative of the gaming culture as a whole but 
more of the uh, maybe the mature crowd we kind of draw, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any idea what was number one? Or did you look at the poll? Or Well, I'm going to go with uh, PlayStation Vita probably, right? Again, no. No? No. Um, Nintendo DS. Close. Very close. Uh, the Apple Pippin. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, I could keep going like days. The uh, Amiga CD32. That got more votes than you'd think. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. No, I did see. Why don't you just you go ahead and read it? Uh, mobile phone. Yeah. I, I was honestly surprised by that. I mean, there's casual, it, it's, you know, go to when you got five minutes, just sit there, and play some lot, Candy Crush. Exactly. And you, you know, you do that 10 times a week and it's a main gaming device, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, um, yeah, I was honestly surprised, but. Yeah. And it's hard to play, to be fair you can't really whip out your PlayStation portable and just, I keep saying PlayStation portable PSP mm -hmm. can't really whip it out in the middle of a subway. Cause that grinding little disc drive is really annoying to those around you. <laughs> that probably sounds really good in the recording there. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, so Rob, Yes. I uh I got a good grump this week. I really So we're did. just segueing just just right like that like Yeah, we're we're done with the poll. I okay. uh okay. I think we milked everything we could out of that. My surprise of what the mobile Yeah. You know, your mobile phone one. Well, thank you all for voting everyone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wonder us an idea of what uh what kind of crowd we're dealing with and I one thing I did wonder is if I should have separated that into like phone and tablet like i wonder if people i think i think mobile gaming for phones or tablets are probably the same crowd right like yeah i'd say so and i we didn't even think of it but apple arcade that could have been counted for uh like apple has their arcade and um google has their own maybe a lot of people playing the new streaming services games now right oh i don't know if you can still hear me but i lost you there you maybe sit on your mic or there you I, go. I ah, hear you. <laughs> there we go. I hit the mute button. What a noob maneuver. This is, noob. Uh, that's all right. What people aren't expecting anything else out of us and no one's listening at this point anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, lost my train of thought. That's all right. Oh, Let's no. go into the, what's making us. I know what I was going to say. I, um, <laughs> One guy on there, I know he plays like uh, um, emulators on his phone. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it could have been anything like that, but still, that was the phone choice. There you go. But Rob, something's making me really grumpy this week. That, right. That no one is calling, calling this to their attention. So Pokemon Sword and Shield has had a bumpy ride sure. to the Switch. Tell, tell me all about it, fella. Well, um, I'm far from an expert on these games because there is two games. But um, they were uh, cancelled. Or cancelled. <laughs> Freudian um, slip. <laughs> Freudian slip. So there's been a lot of hubbub about um, reusing um, the big thing there's a hashtag going right now. Um, oh man, I forget the name of the company. Oh, uh, Game, Game Freak. Freak. Game yeah. Freak, yeah. So it started, there's a hashtag that started up that uh, it's like a Game Freak are liars, something like that. Right. And because the big thing was um, they weren't going to have every Pokemon in the Pokédex. In, and I guess from previous games, it's been cumulative that are, they just keep adding more and more and more and more. And, you know, there hasn't been an official like console um, Pokemon since the GameCube. Really? Yeah. 
Um, oh, okay. it, it's all it's all been on the portable stuff. It's all been on the DS and 3DS. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. So this is the first like console. Um, and I mean they had the uh, they had a Pokemon Adventure uh, two summers ago, I guess, with Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. But mm -hmm. it still it still wasn't an official. Um, because I think there was like Fire and Ice and Emerald and Red and. Yeah, they've had all the <laughs> they've had all these games, sure. But um, you know they they were worried. Uh, for one, they had a big launch event for November fifteenth planned in Tokyo, which they do every time they launch one of these, mm -hmm. and they actually canceled it because they they were afraid of, um, like protesters and like people coming and making a scene, and they didn't want that negative publicity for it. Wow. Um. There's been a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of positivity around. People are playing it and loving it. And, you know, I, I am curious to try. Like, uh, my brother-in-law even texted me. And, you know, was like, you know, they play a lot of games. And uh, he was shocked. He sent me many shocked animated GIFs <laughs> when I mentioned that I've never tried one of these games. And it's just, <laughs> just a stream of shock. shocked. I'm pretty shocked to hear you say that. I I've, thought you were the you're the resident Poke guy here. No, I, I'm the resident Pokemon Go guy. Okay, play okay. the Pokemon Go, which is not apparently this. And apparently, he says it's a very good RPG. He says it's very fun. Okay, okay. But that's not what's making me grumpy. This is all just stuff that's happening. So, you, you know that there's two different games. There's Pokemon Sword and there's Pokemon yeah. Shield. Right. They are both. So what's the difference? Uh, I'm getting to that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So there's two. There are two full price games. Mm -hmm. They're both eighty dollars in Canada. Okay. I'm with and you so far. Eighty percent of the game. Seventy-five to eighty percent of the game, is the same. But. Basically, you buy these games for that 20 to 25 percent difference, which is different Pokemon that appear in one game that don't appear in the other, and okay. different upgrades. And but 75 percent of the of the game is still the same. So you pay 160 dollars to get 25 percent different. Yeah. So this is what's making me grumpy, Rob. Like, I know that they've done this forever, but in this day and age, mm -hmm. how are they getting away with this? <laughs> if there is any, like, um, uh, what, what's something big that just came out um, that's like a sequel? Um, Borderlands 3, how about that? Yeah, yeah. What, what if they had like a, a gold and a silver edition? And the right. only, and... You know, you love the game so much, but you could only get certain guns in the gold and certain guns in the silver. It's a good analogy. That makes sense. It's uh... like how, like how are they getting away with this? Like people, they they were they were protesting because they they thought they were mad because they were using reusing some character models from the 3DS versions. But how are they? How are people not mad? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that you're buy, have to buy two games if you want to be a complete experience that's ridiculous Rob tell me tell me how <laughs> does that make sense I don't know I've never got the whole pokey, pokey stuff here but uh, so if you get the one game and you beat it does it save online these other Pokemon that you'd gotten like, as far there... as I know, no. It's a completely separate... Like, you can't take your upgraded character over to the other game. You're, yeah. You start right from the beginning so and what's play the it again. Then? So what's the, uh, the playtime of, of one of these games? Are you looking at, like, 20 hours, 40 hours? Uh, I read somewhere that someone got through uh, one of the new ones in 25 to 30 hours. Right. And so if you got the other game, you would have about the same time, except 20% of the monsters would be different. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I, <laughs> I, I don't get why people aren't mad about this. 
Oh, it sounds like they are. It how about there like being an uproar? How about having two different games? Or... Well, it's a uh, is is that not part of the whole uh, Game Freak is liars? Uh... No, no. Um, the Game Freak is liars uh, hashtag is. Uh, I guess yeah, I never finished that. Um, is because they said that they didn't include the entire Pokédex, like the cumulative ah. Pokédex, because they were improving the graphics so much and there wasn't room. Right. And then the characters, they were comparing the, the wireframes back to back from the last game, and they're exactly the same. Yeah, I remember yeah. that now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's the part that people are in an uproar about. Not the fact that you have to buy two $80 games. Right. That's what I would be mad about, Rob. <laughs> I can't. I can't think of a game that like that I love so much. Uh, but there are like I. I know that there are people that love this game like that. Mm-hmm. And they're oh sure. They'll, they're, they've just gone out and done that. They're no problem. And mm-hmm. I, good for them that they love a, a game that much. I. But I would. <laughs> I would not be happy. Oh, if, for sure. Uh, yeah, I also can't think of a game right now that, that I would do that for. But the last time I heard about something like this that, that had me kind of outraged like this was uh, Blink-182, about 15 years ago. They released three different albums. Okay. And the only difference was like one song in each album. But if you wanted to get the entire thing, you had to buy three albums. And there was only one song difference in each one. Albums yeah. for for those who were listening who are under thirty. <laughs> oh, it was on the uh, compact disc. It was on the compact disc. Okay, yeah. I imagine most people <laughs> listening remember compact discs. Yeah, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess we haven't had LPs for a while. But <laughs> that's what I always think of with an album. But right, right. Yeah, yeah. But that's what's making me grumpy, Rob. I, why, why are people letting this happen? Like, make a DLC. It's true, right? It's true. Like that's what everybody else does. Mm-hmm. They they put out you know seventy five percent of the game, and then you have to buy the twenty five percent as as downloadable levels. <laughs> yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see how well this sells. Maybe it will change the model just based on uh, sales this time, right? Yeah, maybe it'll. From it'll what I things. from what I've been seeing, though, people are still buying it. No, you know, even the people who are uh, are complaining about you know, the, the graphics and everything and calling them mm-hmm. liars. You're a liar, but I still bought your game. <laughs> Here's $160. Take yeah. my money. I just had to buy it to make sure that it was actually <laughs> the same wire model. Yep. Yep. And I, I'm definitely not going to play it all the way through. Definitely not. Except I totally will. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a good grump. It's a good grump. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, it just kind of came to me when I, um, I was looking at something on Amazon, and I'm like, wait, these aren't even $60 games. Nope. Because <laughs> you can buy, you can buy um, um, a, a set, and it's $160 that has both of them in it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anything making you grumpy this week, Rob? No. No? <laughs> Actually, no, nothing really. I'm living vicariously through your uh, your grump here this week. Um, other than, I guess, we covered Stadia. The fact that that's coming and I paid for it, that's pretty... Uh... <laughs> yeah. T- tune in next week, because uh, I'll have played it by then. I guess I can start playing in two days here. Mm-hmm. Not with the Chromecast, because that doesn't come for another week and a half, but... Um, supposedly I can play it in a browser, so we'll see. All right. Yeah. Well, if you got nothing else, Rob, I got nothing else. Excellent. And, uh, all right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. As uh, always, you can check us out on our website, uh, the grumpy old That's where we post all of our original content. Um, for news and other things, check out our Facebook page at fb.me slash the grumpy old gamers. And you can find um, the video podcast on YouTube under 
You can't teach an old gamer new tricks. And our audio podcast is available on all the major platforms. We think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, know. it is. It's, I've it's never on, actually I checked. checked. <laughs> I have checked. It's on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Um, <laughs> it's on Buzzsprout and a variety of other things. So yeah. just search for us. We appreciate Please. it. Please. Uh, Please. Uh, what's that? <laughs> My family hasn't eaten in so long. <laughs> just click on an ad somewhere. Yeah, just click yeah. on all. I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> yeah, you can get in trouble for saying that. You absolutely can. Who's afraid of Google? This guy. Yeah, right. Right. this guy. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Have a good evening, everyone. Or morning, if you're listening to this in the morning. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah that could be you know, idea. we're not telling you what to do. Just you live your good, own life. That's have fine. A good, have a good day. <laughs> Bye, folks. Bye.